Have you ever felt like your business was in a slump and you were just really unmotivated? I'm going to show you how to fix that instantly. Motivation and energy comes in an ebb and flow. Realizing this is a very good strategy for not getting in a slump. And it's like um, energy in your body when you fill it up with uh, water and good food and stuff like that, you feel a lot of energy, but then you have to go to sleep uh, when all of that energy is, is, has been used up. So it's a natural uh, pattern up and down with the motivation. So just stick with it. Don't get into uh, blaming yourself uh, if your motivation isn't that high. Another thing is that for some people, the motivation is high in the morning and for some others, it's high in the evening. So finding out what kind of person you are and doing the things that are the big needle movers, the going after your goal in, in that time frame, whether it's in the morning or in the evening, realizing that your, your energy goes up and down and just um, say to yourself, I'm going to schedule out in an hour in the morning or an hour in the evening to work on this goal because that's where I know that my energy is, is the highest and my motivation is highest. Realizing that ebb and flow, that would really put you out, you know, get you out of a, a slump and motivate you. So I hope you enjoyed this strategy for pulling you out of a slump and getting you motivated again. But I have nine other strategies that you can take a look at. So just click in the link in the description and you will get my nine other um, strategies for getting out of a slump and getting motivated. Have a great day. Thank you for listening or watching this content. I hope it has brought you some value. I hope it's been inspiring or motivating or given you some kind of new idea to maybe get out of a rut or maybe really go and crush it. Listen, I'm just an ex-computer programmer who uh, got into a car crash back in 2001 and it took me several years to get out of that. And during that time, I studied everything there was to study about spirituality and personal growth. And finally, I found my way to uh, finding my passion, and that is online marketing and online business building. To That's the platform that I really love to help inspire people to create the life and the freedom that they want in their life and build a legacy and impact the world for the better. Now, if you want to follow me on this journey, you can find me on social media or go to my blog askmarilina.com That's askmarilina.com And I hope to see you in another episode. Bye for now.